hello dear friends so in this video we will see how to apply dead load and live load on a structure using spat pro as per indian standards 875 part 1 for dead load and 875 part 2 for live load okay so move on to the stat pro this is my stat pro and here go to your new project here click on your space change the file name as load composition dead load and live load here you can keep your units in meters and kilonewton click on next click on add button finish it now the graphical user interface of stat pro some time okay this is graphical user interface now what I need to do I directly transport my model from run structure wizard so go to geometry select run structure wizard and here select your model type as frame models select your bay frame double click on your bay frame and, uh, we need to decide our length so if I'm considering length is 12 meters and my height is 15 meters okay then the, my width is 12 meters again and uh, number of bays along length is 4 meters so number of bays along height is 5 meter and number of bays along width is 4 meter so apply it so this is my frame here in my graphical uh, in my run structure wizard and close it and would you like to transfer transfer it yes and press ok button ok now our model being transferred to chat pro graphical user interface ok now click on this snap node beam command and close it all your grid lines have been disabled now okay so this is your model now for this model we need to define our beams we need to define our columns and we need to define our slab so go to geometry go to general option go to property then define here and define your beams as a rectangle if I am having a beam of depth is 0.35 and width is 0.35 add it close it and if I am having again a column of 0.45 by 0.35 okay so add it close it okay now i need to draw my slab portion so go to your front view here okay now go to your cut section command here this is a cut section command and uh, you need to cut go to select to view here press on ok option and select your bottom portion here and go to your 3d view here isometric view here and click on four node plates here and select your four nodes here like this one node two node three two okay now click on whole structure command view display whole structure view okay now click on your plate cursor this is a plate cursor select your bottom plate and go to translate repeat so this is my translation repeat option go to translation repeat in y direction okay and how many times i have to perform it so 
वन टू थ्री एंड फोर नंबर ऑफ स्टेप्स आर फोर हियर एंड डिफॉल्ट स्टेप स्पेसिंग इज वी आर हैविंग अ थ्री मीटर फ्लोर टू फ्लोर हाइट सो की पेट एज थ्री मीटर्स एंड प्रेस ऑन ओके ऑप्शन यू कैन सी हियर ऑल माई फ्लोर्स आर रिपीटेड ओके now go to again your general option go to thickness here so select your floor slab thickness as 125 mm so find 125 meters add it close it okay now we have our beams here we have our columns here we have our plates here okay plates here now what i have to do i need to add my supports here so go to your front view click on supports option create your new support as fixed support create your fixed support add it select your fixed support select all your nodes select assign to selected nodes assign it yes in isometric view all your fix support has been assigned close it now again go to geometry go to property here now we need to assign these beams on this model so select your beams option and go to select option here and beams parallel to x direction go to select option again beams parallel to z direction so all my beams parallel to x and z direction have been selected now assign to selected beams assign it yes so all my beams have been assigned here now select your column now again go to your select option beams parallel to y direction because my beams are in y direction as columns so select your y direction beams select to assign to selected beams assign yes here all my beams and all my columns have been assigned so choose your plate thickness and uh, this is my plate thickness and i need to assign my plate thickness to all my floors so here click on assign to view option assign it yes so here we have assigned our all beams columns and floors okay and all my supports have been assigned okay so this is my model and uh, what next we need to define our loads and definition part so go to load and definition here okay now click on your load case details option so edit and i am creating my first load case detail as dead load here so dead load here this is my dead load you can enter it dead load edit now dead load item has been added here now further i have to add my live load option here so this is my live load edit close it okay so for dead load click on dead load now add dead load option add it okay now i have to add my dead load as cell weight so in y direction and factor of minus 1 because it is acting in downward direction okay so here cell weight factor of minus 1 so add it okay now cell weight is being added here now select your member load so here we need to define your floor beam loads or from brick wall so if i am considering my outer wall of 250 mm thickness then my weight of brick work will be you know that is your height of wall multiply by thickness of the wall and uh, that is 250 and uh, which is multiply by your unit weight of the brick work that is 19.2 so after considering this value that is 3 meter is your height of wall into 0.25 in meters that is your thickness of the wall 
into unit weight of your brick work is 19.2 that is 14.4 kilo newton per meter and uh, i know that uh, weight of plaster is also included in this so weight of plaster is can be calculated as 3 meter height of wall multiplied by 35 mm thickness of plaster inside plaster it is 20 mm and outside plaster it is 15 mm so 0 0.035 into unit weight of plaster usually we take is 20 mm so its value is 2.1 kN per meter so a total weight of uh, brickwork is your 16.5 kN per meter so we have to keep in mind that uh, our loads on floor beam from brickwork is 16.5 kN per meter in minus so minus 16.5 kN per meter in global y direction so i am entering here so this is my uh, load on your floor beam from brickwork okay so for outer wall this is 16.5 kN add it okay so it is now added here and for your partition wall usually we are using partition wall of 125 mm thickness so its value is half of 16.5 that is 8.25 kN per meter it is added here add it here close it okay so this is our dead load value and now simply we need to add our uh, floor finish also as dead load so here add it again go to your floor load floor load here pressure value of floor finish usually floor finish of if i am using 25 mm pcc then your floor finish value will be your uh, that is your uh, 1 meter by 1 meter area multiplied by 25 mm that is 0 0.025 multiplied by unit weight of pieces is 24 so it is 0.6 kN per meter square so we use 0 0.6 kN per meter square okay as your floor finish okay so here add it for a minimum range from 0 to and what is your maximum range y value is this 3 6 9 12 15 so we are having a 15 maximum value and minimum value you can either put 0 or either you can put 3 values okay so from here minimum value means this is 3 value 3 meter here and this is your 15 meters so all my floors in this range will be applied as minus 0.6 kN per meter square or of floor thickness okay so as your floor finish so add it okay so here we done with your dead load all the dead loads so close it and again select your live load add it and usually for residential building live load value for floor slab is generally 2 kN per meter square okay so here add your floor load here again and 2 kN per meter square minus 2 kN per meter square in global y direction from 0 to 15 or you can put 3 to 15 meter okay so here by this way you can add your live load also close it okay so now apply your dead load here so apply your dead load on whole assign to view here so select on dead load and assign to viewer assign it yes so dead load has been assigned here now for your uh, 16.5 kN per meter load so that this load is uh, for your outer wall so these are your outer walls okay so for apply this 16.5 kN per meter uh, what you have to do go to your top view okay so select your top view here and choose your 16.5 uh, kN per meter okay here you can select your outer wall by pressing control option okay so all your outer walls have been selected like this so these are your outer walls outer walls carrying 16.5 kN per meter okay so here assign to selected beams okay so assign it yes 
go to your 3d view so this is your 16.5 kilo newton per meter load is assigned on your outer wall here okay now or for partition wall 8.25 kilo newton per meter what we need to do we need to apply on your partition wall here so select your 8.25 kilo newton per meter load and go to your top view again okay now select your partition walls all your partition walls so by pressing control option or control button from the keyboard you can select all your partition wall here so these are your partition walls and uh, usually partition wall carries 125 mm thickness so you see here and assign to selected beams assign yes okay now you can go to your isometric view again and you see here your outer wall carrying a 16.5 kilo newton per meter and your partition wall carrying uh, 8.25 kilo newton per meter okay so dead load is applied okay and our live load you can see the live load value here okay so this way you can apply your dead load and live load as per indian standard 875 part 1 for dead load and part 2 for live load so again we need to define our load combination so select on load case details add here add your load combination define combinations go to define combinations and combination load case here available load case we have dead load and live load go here and for vector factor of 1.5 we know in rcc we have a factor of 1.5 here so this is your 1.5 1.5 here 1.5 dead load and 1.5 live load okay so add it close it so this is a load combination you can see here this is a load combination so by this way you can uh, apply your dead load and live load on the structure okay so here you can analyze and print no print data add it close it and go to analyze option run analysis save it now we can check for zero errors So zero error use zero warning one note go to your post processing mode done option here so apply here okay so this is our building here so you can check so here you can see your shear force and bending moment diagram okay so this is your shear force diagram here okay fy direction Use your bending moment here. These are your graphs. You can refer these graphs. Okay. These are your forces here for dead load, live load combination. Here it is your deflection. Okay. You can see here this is your animated diagram, deflection diagram here. So by this way you can apply your dead load and live load on whole structure so go to your state output this is your output file all the supports and uh, all the members so by this way you can apply your dead load and live load on the structure okay so see your results also you can see okay so thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video then do subscribe the channel concrete civil concepts and stay tuned here so thank you so much